What's cracking, YouTube? This is Ninja TV LV here, and we are with Ahi Kanlu with his awesome Magic Scepter 13th place demise bullshit. Hey, oh my god. <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, why couldn't Monarchs get me an invite, man? <laughs> no, Monarchs were shit. He was a brick sort, brick city. Brick city, man. All right, man, let's see what we got going on here. All right, so it's a control type deck, don't really have to explain much. Three Bunbuku. Everybody knows what Bunbuku does. Gets your low scales, gets your high scales, gets itself all around good card. Three Nekamata. It's a better search than Bunbuku, technically. I mean, it gets a search at the end phase, and there's a card that synergizes really well with it, and it's a low scale, and I'll explain that later. Uh, three QB. QB gets your traps, gets your tempest, gets your tornado, low scale, good good card in general. Uh, two Magic Spectre Ogama. I only run two just because it does the QB job just worse because your opponent knows what you set and it is a high scale so it does help so it does help too when you're a use of QB effect and you just want to get another trap card Gama helps Kieran it, it's a Kieran it's a fuck boy that's what it is yeah it's a Kieran and for my other for my last two uh, Luster and Eccentric typical staple pendulum cards right and people are going to be giving you shit because it's like why didn't you run any others to Draco face on no because yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's a great reason. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> For the spells, three card and mice. It's card and mice, gets access to my traps, and even if I draw into monsters, scales or spell thing, which is awesome. Uh, three duality. Can basically get anything you need if depending on the situation. Sometimes I've drawn crap with it, but all around I've really liked it so far. And the last of the spells, the one interesting thing we don't we really try. Not to talk about right now. We're poor. We're Shut very up. poor. <laughs> we tried to get a, se a second secret, but a guy bailed in us last minute, so I saw a terrifying forming in my binder and decided, yeah, why not? It was a last minute fucking card. <laughs> yep. I didn't want to one, one, only, run only one, so I figured, hey, terraforming's a good substitute. Why not? Has anybody really like blown it up or did they just like lost to it? They've lost to it sometimes because like I popped that off on a Cyber Angel player. They couldn't really do much. Right. Just like, I play this. Okay, cool. I summon a. Uh, uh, I summoned the Mubuki, yeah. sat on it, and that's like. Okay. I would just. I would have been like, okay, that, and you know. Yeah. Hey, uh, whatever the fucking uh, Ally Justice card is, it just says you can't special summon lights. You're yeah. fucked. All right. <laughs> uh, for the traps, three tempests. Basically, it's a solemn strike. If you know solemn strike, so it's the same exact thing, except you don't neg with life points. Uh, two tornado. I really want to bump this card up to three just because it hits so much from the Neptibus to the Dante to just non-destruction in general is not bad in this format right now, in my opinion. Uh, two strikes. I do the strikes. I'm only a two mainly because that I do run three natural strikes in the Magic Spectre deck, and this is for when I don't want to get rid of any monsters on my field. It is nice to have. One warning. It's a warning. Go Solemn Brigade. Yeah, Solemn Brigade. All I'm missing is a scolding, but that's terrible here. Uh, three drownings. More than likely, turn one you will have an empty field. So drowning helps. It's a drowning. Great card. Uh, two stormings. I like it because magic specters are weak. If you don't have Kieran on field or any of your back row, more than likely you will get screwed over by an attack. So the storming helps, especially if they're trying to go for game. Uh, three pendulum reborns. This card I love so much in this deck right now. Because even if you draw monsters off the card in Demise, if you set one pen reborn, then it really does help. Because I've done something where I summon no I normally summon Nekomata and deliberately got the cure into my hand just so I can ditch it for a pen reborn. And there's also the fact that you can activate pen reborn during your opponent's turn during the end phase to get the Nekomata search off right away to get the to use the card for your next turn. Then on the deck, it's a great card, honestly. Uh Cast Chapel, it's everything in the meta. Don't need to explain that. Two Magic Train. I love this card personally because my logic behind it is that even if I don't negate the thing I want to negate, they still have to neg themselves. And I even fell more in love with this card when I ended up Magic Training a Pot of Desires and they were not able to ditch anything. So that was really funny. I mean, ditch anything. He was able to ditch a spell to negate the Magic Train. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he banished her cost, I flipped Magic Train, and that was it. Uh, for Extra Deck, Ignister. It's an Ignister. <coughs> Dante, I run this naturally because I can go into it with Magic Specters and also for the Winter Cherry side. It's a Dante. One Grand Pulse for board clear and a good defense. 
one totem bird because magic spiders can run this very easily and it's also good against a drowning or storming if you want to go for game. Break sword for general board clear if you want to, or if you have bum scales that you just kind of want to get rid of, you can do that. One nightmare shark, go for game, 2k direct to the face, not much to say. Fist dweller, hits everything, stops BA, again, simple stable. Animal to a cycle, whatever, if you don't have any pendulum reborns or you use too many exceeds. I didn't even see it really, so. One magister because it's nice to just search for any of your pendulums, monsters at the end phase. One Chidori, uh, same reasoning behind Totem Bird, hit whatever set card and hit whatever face up cards you feel like threatening and go for game. Heartland Draco, uh, great defensive card and an offensive card just because if you have control pen scale, this thing can't be targeted for an attack. And 2,000 directly to the face isn't bad. I love Draco. Oh, yeah, so it's good. won me so many games. Oh, yeah, so, it's so good. Castell, Castell. Before it's Trapeze Magician, OTK potential. I mean, you target a cure and it can attack for 4k. And Utopia for Lightning. To get over whatever big beater you can't get over for whatever reason. Now for the side deck. Two Winter Cherries. I know people are very in a love-hate relationship with this card. I love this card personally because I feel like it's better for control compared to the Flying Sea. And as I run the Dante naturally, it's easier for me to just put this in without them knowing that I have a Dante in my extra deck. Two of Quarantine. Hits the Blue Eyes. Hits Siren Angels. Great card in general right now. Card is so good this format. It's way too good this format. Uh, system downs. I didn't really see Cosmo players. I saw like one Cosmo matchup, but I kept it in just in case. And plus, I wanted to like kind of get used to having that in my side since ABCs and Crystals are going to become a thing eventually. Mistaken rest. I did not know how I felt about this card until I actually tried it this regionals because. My opponent ended up when I, when he did Neptibus, he did Dragoons. I did Mistake and Arrest, so he didn't get the Neptibus effect, and he couldn't get the Dragoons effect off at the same time. And it also helps against Cyber Angels because they search a lot with pre pep and I mean a lot. Two MSTs, because if you run a Demise deck, more than likely you won't have a hand, or you'll have very little hand that you want to ditch, so MST is a better option. One Tornado, I want to bump, I want to put it in my main deck again, bump up Tornado up to three. I already explained Tornado. Uh, two debunks, hits BA, hits mermails, because if you hit the Megalo, they can't really OTK you quick enough. And huge revolution is over. I want to replace this with Full House because I didn't really see Twin Twister used against me, and every time I saw this, it's been kind of meh. Never really saw it. So, yep. All right. Thing. So, what were your matchups? I fought against Mermail, Cosmo, Metal Foe Counter Fairy. That threw me off. Two BA players. BA Monarch. I think that's everything. Didn't see a Blue Eyes player for whatever reason. There was a lot of Blue Eyes players. Yeah, a lot of Blue Eyes players. <laughs> I didn't catch a single you guys one. In, you guys in Utah like confuse us sometimes. We're oh, like, yeah. yeah, we got this, all this, and all of a sudden it's a completely different fucking pile of shit. And like, oh yeah, but I know that this deck does well against Blue Eyes because we had a three-hour grudge match just back and forth between this deck and Blue Eyes, so I already knew the map, know the matchup. Great. Yep. All and right. In terms of changing the deck, huge revolution, and possibly. Thing the deck down to 40 because it is a 42 card deck and my reason behind that was that I can search a lot but there's also the possibility of bricking which has happened to me so uh, really that's it all right all right guys this is the 13th place Utah regional deck profile Icon Lu and his magic scepter demise yep yep all right guys this is ninja TV LV here and we are signing out thank you for watching Johnny <laughs>